Year, which is a new category. We have not done this one before. Producer of the Year, non-hip-hop album of the year, which we always do to show people we listen to a little bit more than hip-hop. Uh, verse of the Year, Song of the Year, Hip-Hop Song of the Year, and Hip-Hop Artist of the Year. All right. We're going to start off with EP of the Year. How do you want to do this? You want to go first? You want me to go first? How do you want to do it? Well, we have six categories, so we should flip flop. We can switch. So whoever you want to go first here, whatever. And then All right, you, you, today. I'll let you go first on on EP of the year. Yeah. Oh, this is a hard category. All of I, I for the most part, these categories were all pretty difficult. Um, respectfully, producer of the year wasn't, but most of these categories were pretty difficult. EP of the year was stressful because I had five EPs I really liked. I'm not going to mention all of them because I feel like one of them will be uh, one of your EP or your EP of the year. Okay. You think, I you, will you, think you know me? All right. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's three that I have here that I'm not going to mention. My One of my big runner-ups that I almost gave this award to uh, and I'm going to shout them out real quick. Denzel Curry and Kenny Beats had a great EP uh, called Unlocked. It was like eight joints. It was like 17, 18 minutes of music. Denzel Curry, he had bars on those records. The production the production from Kenny Beats was really strong. You and I both like the synergy between one artist and one producer, even if mm-hmm. it's just an EP. I recommend this project to, to you even because I think that, you know, Denzel Curry has done some of his best rapping on it. And I just wish it was a little bit longer, but, you know, it was great. But my EP of the year is actually an EP called Drop Six by Lil Sims, who I had in my runner up for album of the year last year with Gray Area, Lil Sims, black woman from the UK. She can spit with the best of them. Uh, she's one of the best rappers in the world right now. It's just five joints. It's probably like roughly 15 minutes of music or whatever. And all the records are really good. Um, this this was released during the pandemic, which is discussed a little bit. Uh, Might Bang, Might Not is probably my favorite record. And it's the first record. It's it's really good. Like Lil Sims, I, I'm going to be following her career for a minute because everything she's been putting out lately is fire. I unfortunately did not get to that EP, and I'm mad I didn't. It's good, um, it's I think, good man. I think you had told me uh, earlier, and I did not get to it, um, and I'm really mad I didn't. But I have no doubt that it is really good. Uh, we want to let people know, like this stuff is tough with hip hop. You know, we, Brian and I were talking about this the other day. It's tough to review stuff. It is tough to uh, listen to everything. We try to listen to as much stuff um, as we possibly can, um, but it's hard. Uh, EPs, you know, I thought there were some decent ones this year. Um, I think Brian probably is right now thinking about it. He probably does know what I'm going to pick because I think it, this EP spoke to me uh, probably in a, in a different way. The artist, this artist put out two EPs this year, actually. Yeah. I thought they yeah. both were solid. They're, they're like, both yeah, on my list. They're both on your <laughs> list. Uh, and we had him, we had the artist on the podcast to talk about this EP, which is my favorite AP of the year, EP of the year, and it was Sky Zoo. Uh, with Dumbo Station, Italian jazz band, uh, with their EP called The Bluest Note. Uh, really good five-song EP. Love what Sky did on this. Uh, Sky Zoo and I are really big fans of jazz. It probably shapes a lot of our taste in hip-hop. Uh, a lot that you, Sky Zoo's always had that influence. But for him to lean in totally, he kind of did this on uh, uh, what uh, in celebration of us. He kind of leaned in on a lot of jazz on that album. But here on this EP, he really just goes in with a uh, very talented Italian jazz band, uh, Dumbo Station, who I checked out their work after getting through, you know, listening to this, and they're really dope. Um, but just a couple of really good songs in this, Good Enough Reasons, which was the lead single off of it, and Sing Comfortably. Uh, some of my favorite songs of the year, easily. Yeah. Uh, really good songs, really good vibe, just capture it. I'd like to see Sky Zoo and Dumbo Station do more. This also came out during the pandemic. Um, so it's, it's interesting how we sometimes are going to have pieces of work that are going to be very much attached to when the pandemic started. Uh, this one is one of those for me. Uh, it gave me a lot of calm. I remember listening to this a lot when I had to try to go to the supermarket and deal with long lines and avoiding people and all this stuff. You know, this was constantly on repeat. So I always associate it with, with the pandemic, but in a positive way of kind of keeping my, keeping me chill with the jazz I like, and also, um, you know, just give me that sound that I like as well, too. So taking my mind off some things. So, yeah, now, nah, Bluest Note, if you haven't heard that, check it out. That is my EP of the year. 
Uh, shout out to Sky Zoo, uh, three time veteran of the podcast. Uh, I'm sure we'll have him up for a fourth time uh, with his new album on all the, the way. All, all the brilliant things. We're waiting, also, we're waiting he, on that. Yep. Yeah, and he dropped Milestones, which was another one that was up there for me. Yep. Uh, that was the other EP he had. And then Russ's EP, that was one that <laughs> look, I was surprised. The yep, Russ that was, that was, a, that was in the running for me. He brought Rapidy Rappers up there. Crooked Eye, Benny the Butcher, Conway, Absol, and hung with everybody. Um, Black the whole Thought. Thing about, the whole th- Black Thought, the whole thing about being Italian, we talking with our hands. That was one of my favorite bars uh-huh. in the whole thing. That was in the song with and, and And he skated on a primo beat. That's another thing that's me, which which was really dope. That was a strong EP, and I've been bump- it came out later in the year, but I've been bumping it. It definitely had consideration for me. So did Milestones, uh, one by Sky Zoo, which he put out on Father's Day. It pained me. It pained me not to like Blue is No and Unlocked were oh they were two and three. It was right there for me. But Lil Sims, man, she's great. Honestly. Yeah. Now I gotta go. Now see, I didn't even check that out. So now I gotta go check that out. If you haven't checked out those EPs, definitely do. All right, next. Mm-hmm. 